This is the most productive aeroplane factory in the world. Boeing's Renton plant outside Seattle builds the 737 in all its configurations for customers globally. To build 42 planes a month, you need a pretty sophisticated, pretty huge production line. It takes nine days for a plane to do this loop and be assembled. Let's break that down. Boeing's built more than 9,000 737s since launching the single aisle jet in the mid 1960s. And each one started life something like this, a hollow fuselage built in Wichita, Kansas and hauled by train to Renton. Once that shell enters the factory, days one through three are really all about the internals. It's like building a house. First, engineers install the plumbing and electrics and the insulation. On the fourth day, the tube becomes a plane. The wings go on along with the vertical fin or tail. Workers align them with laser guidance. This is when they fit the landing gear too. Day five is for the horizontal stabilizer install and the start of functional tests. Engineers are putting wiring in now for flight control and finishing the internal floorboards. They start building the interiors up, the galleys and the bathrooms. Then on day six, the plane comes alive. That flashing red light means there's power to the airplane. Large scale tests are now possible. Like, does the landing gear retract properly? It had better the next time it's folded away will be when this plane takes off for the first time. Day seven, and the plane's weight is set on its own wheels and the engines are fixed to the wings along with their own network of wires, cables, and tubes. All through the build, systems are checked and rechecked and day eight is a critical test of the flight control surfaces, the flaps, and the flight deck itself, the cockpit. All these parts have been checked in isolation. Now it's crucial they work together. The plane is nearing the end of the moving production line. On day nine, the customer gets to do a walkthrough inspection before it's towed out of the factory. Born, in a way, into the big wide world. The next stop is Renton Field for ground tests of the engines and other systems. And then, first flight. So you can see like down there, there's a person there with a, uh, what looks like a pile of trash, but if you look closely, it's just that they're, they're going through mobile phones and stripping out parts from them.